Spider-Dynamic Stage Green, the Emotional, Spiritual and Cause Stage. This stage that tries to fix all inequality and suffering in the world, the stage where the heart and emotions are opened up, and the stage where life gets more meaning and just success and material wealth. Stage Green comes after Stage Orange, when you realize that materialism and success doesn't make you happy. That you can't solve all the world's problems with more technology and money. You realize that competition is draining and it's better to cooperate. And you ask yourself if there's more to life than just money and success. So you start focusing more on social causes, your emotions, connections and spirituality. And sometimes you may become stage green because of a health crisis caused by the stage orange lifestyle. Stress, burnout, disease, depression. Collectively, stage green started popping up around the 60s, for example with the whole hippie movement. And stage green is getting more and more common today, largely due to the media and internet. Individually, you evolve to stage green at around college or university. Or when you realize that you lack meaning in your life, that you're not really happy. You may also realize that something needs to be done about all the inequality and environmental destruction, pollution and global warming. And if you're watching this video, then odds are that you have at least a little bit of green in you. So without further ado, let's get started. We'll start with the main characteristics of stage green. Stage green believes that everyone and everything is equal. All people, animals and cultures are equally valuable. At stage green, you recognize the validity of other cultures. But this doesn't mean that stage green can't be ideological. And next, stage green has an open heart. And what that means is that stage green is open to its own emotions. Stage green has empathy and compassion. And for stage green, feelings are above cold rationality, which makes stage orange think that stage green is irrational. Because stage green has an open heart, stage green communicates not just the facts, but also the feelings involved. For example, in a relationship, if your partner cheats on you. At stage blue, that'd be a sin and you'd demonize your partner. At stage orange, you'd state the facts, argue, leave the person or maybe seek revenge. But at stage green, you'd actually communicate how you feel. Next, stage green is anti-materialist, anti-consumerist, and anti-green. In a nutshell, stage green doesn't like stage orange. At stage green, you want to reconnect with nature and meaning. Through a cause like saving the planet, protecting minorities, animal rights, or spirituality. So stage green is spiritual, but not in a religious way like stage blue, but in a more communal and emotional way. Emotions are often in focus, and it's often communal. You go to yoga circles, events or festivals, etc. At stage green, you've realized that stage orange materialism, fast cars, Rolexes, expensive clothes, doesn't make you happy. You stop caring as much about your looks or your status. See, now stage green wants to flatten all status and hierarchies, because after all, everyone is equal. Next, stage green reaches decisions through reconciliation and consensus. Everyone's opinions and feelings should be listened to, and a middle ground should be found. This makes decisions often take longer, because finding that middle ground can be hard. And lastly, stage orange seeks growth. But at stage green, you don't really care so much for bodybuilding and looks or success and money. Personal development instead is more about how happy you are, how much you've dealt with your trauma, how connected you are with nature as well as spirituality. And at green, you're very open to new ideas. For example, tarot cards, crystals, veganism, astral projection, etc. What does stage green value? There are four main values. Equality, heart and emotions, meaning, either through social causes or spirituality, and the environment slash nature. So first, equality. At stage green, you value flattening hierarchies and protecting the vulnerable. For example, minorities or refugees. This makes stage green often socialist. And because every culture is equally valuable, stage green values inclusiveness and tolerance. That's why you see people at stage green try to push for more diversity, etc because everyone should have equal chance and representation. Stage green also values finding common ground and pleasing everyone, as well as sharing ideas and feelings. And now because life is more valuable than resources and honor, stage green values peace. Then there's heart and emotions. Stage green values being open with your vulnerability. Stage green values kindness and compassion, as well as hugs and other warm interactions. And stage green also values intimacy. So for example, sex becomes more about intimacy and emotions rather than the physical aspects that were in focus at stage orange. And stage green also values femininity and sensitivity. A lot of people who are expressing their femininity or sensitivity are labeled as weak by stage orange and below. And then meaning. At stage green, you value contributing by going to protests, recycling, etc. Stage green also values spirituality or finding out what more there is to life than that which science can tell us. Green values open-mindedness and exploring altered states of consciousness, for example with psychedelics or deep meditation, etc. And lastly, stage green values the environment 
and nature. Going back to nature, living as ecologically and sustainably as you can, finding harmony between people and the environment. And now it's again time for the list of examples. First we have some people at stage green. We have hippies, vegans and vegetarians, activists, social justice warriors, anti-vaxxers, though many are also at blue, LGBTQ plus people, as well as Russell Brand. Then we have the Beatles, Bob Marley, though they also had some blue in them, Bernie Sanders, Oprah and Nelson Mandela. Now it's time for some things at Stage Green. The Burning Man Festival is the epitome of Stage Green, Greenpeace, Antifa and Amnesty, as well as Vox and Vice. Then we have charities, organic foods, psychedelics, crystals, tarot cards. We also have the socialism of northern European countries, the welfare and prison systems there, drum circles, health food stores, soy products, as well as renewable energy. And now some behaviors at Stage Green. We of course have protecting minorities, donating money to charities, then we have western yoga, as well as transcendental meditation, we have detoxing, incense and aromatherapy, protecting endangered species, cleaning up the environment, recycling, being upset about cultural appropriation, or fat phobia, or transphobia, or whatever. And then we have Tantra and Breathwork. And lastly some ideas at Stage Green. We have university culture, the workplace culture at Google, the New Age movement, the Fat Acceptance movement, Black Lives Matter, gender pronouns and political correctness, feminism, animal rights, human rights. They're all examples of Stage Green. And now, where to find Stage Green? About 10% of the global population is at Stage Green, but it can be up to 30% in certain areas. For example, in Northern Europe. Stage Green has 15% of the world influence. This is again largely due to the media and the internet. You often see these debates of stage green versus stage orange, for example vegans versus meat eaters debating. And now in terms of locations, big cities tend to be more towards stage green. What triggers stage green? Mainly it's the stages red, blue, orange and yellow. Yellow is seen as too neutral, where stage green is triggered by reds, human rights violations, abuse, war, as well as stage blues, racism, hierarchies, exclusion and authoritarianism. And orange is unchecked capitalism, which is destroying and polluting the environment, as well as leading to a lot of inequality. Also exploitation, consumerism and the cold-heartedness of stage orange. They all trigger stage green. And now some issues with stage green. Stage green is too sensitive and easily offended. Emotions can sometimes get in the way. For example, when telling the brutal truth, that can be very hard for stage green. And the world can be harsh. People don't always play to your emotions. Emotions can also easily lead to extremism. For example, the actions of PETA, Greenpeace and Antifa. That's why stage green is often seen as radical. And next, stage green doesn't acknowledge the necessity and role of the other stages. Green thinks that everyone and everything should be at stage green. Green doesn't appreciate the role of violence and war of stage red, the role of rules and hierarchies of stage blue, as well as the role of economy and competition of stage orange. The stages are necessary and have important roles to serve. There are places for violence. For example, if your life is threatened. There are places for rules and laws. Things would be chaos if we didn't have them. And society needs economy to function properly. Next, an issue that occurs when you grow up in a stage green environment. Nowadays it's very common that we suck up these stage green values without integrating the lower stages first. This leads to the common example of the hippie who has trouble with his finances or discipline. So you have to make sure that you integrate the stages below. Next, stage green is too idealistic and impractical. Stage green often lacks discipline and strategy to follow through on its plans. Green wants to remove all borders and hierarchies, make everyone equal on all playing fields, make everyone use renewable energy and cut out meat from their diets. But the truth is that the world is complex and can't be solved through simple answers. And this is where the next stage comes in, stage yellow. So how do you transcend stage green? First you have to read about stage green and stage yellow. Read about the limitations of stage green and the wisdom of stage yellow. Next you have to stop judging the stages red, blue, orange and yellow. Realize that they are all necessary. Also try to fully integrate the levels. Next start thinking more for yourself. Stage green is very communal, which easily leads to groupthink. And try to understand the lower stages points of view. Try to see the causes of criminality, war, violence and conflict. You also have to acknowledge that Stage Green's political actions are often ineffective. Protesting or laying down on the street isn't necessarily going to be enough. So try to be less idealistic and more complex and nuanced, more strategic. And finally, you have to do some contemplation and self-reflection. That'll lead you to the next stage, Stage Yellow, the systemic stage. Watch that video right here. Out.